When you come to get food through our distribution sites, there is a overwhelming sense of gratitude that you encounter. Last week, we delivered some boxes of food to elders and people who have special needs. They can't get in a line. They cannot carry 75 pounds worth of food. So we delivered food and there were tears, there were shouts of joy. There was complete surprise. Like you're doing this for us, but there is also a sense of urgency and the need is palpable. You really do see that people, if they don't get this food, that changes the outcome for them for the next week. Living in the neighborhood I live in and by having so many kids, you know, uh, they had friends and I was noticing that a lot of the friends would uh, want to stay and eat a lot of times. And, and I just realized that we, we had a problem with hunger. And so I just decided to do this. The good Lord gave, gave me the idea and I just rolled with it. A lot of them might go to bed hungry. And I try to my best to make sure that uh, like in the mornings, I will have something that they can eat. One of the things that I really, really want to push on is that we just make sure that food becomes an issue of human dignity and that people have availability, access, and that it's affordable and nutritious. We want the same things. We want healthy communities. We want healthy families. We want our children to run and play and jump and leap. We want those things. And it's not about um, a racial line. It's about a human line. A uh, young lady said, well, I want to start making bags and, and giving them out to people. I said, well, honey, do what you have to do. I'll come and help you. It's not just me. You know, we, that's, we need each other. We need that, that trust. And I want to make a difference in everybody's world, you know, especially the young people.